We rarely think of the infrastructures that sustain our modern cities and way of life. Usually we only notice them when they stop working. And yet, modern infrastructure is all around us. Or, it's all under our feet. Endless miles of cables, pipes and tunnels, carrying water to our taps, electricity to our sockets, and people to their destination. It's the thing that keeps a city like London running. In 1825, Fisher visited the construction site of one of the most daring infrastructure projects of his time. It was a tunnel, 400 meters long, going under the Thames and connecting Rotherhide on the south bank of the river with Wapping to the north, all without hindering the heavy ship traffic on the river. Visionary behind this project was the French-English engineer Marc Isambard Brunel. Not to be confused with his engineering son, Isambard Kingdom Brunel. Fisher was introduced to Marc Brunel through a mutual acquaintance. And Brunel led Fisher through an exclusive tour of the construction site. We are standing here in the so-called tunnel shaft. It's a cylindrical building that was constructed on the surface level at, the end, at one end of the tunnel. Workers would then, as you can see on this picture here, dig the foundations of the construction so that the cylinder would slowly be lowered down into the ground until it would reach the intended depth of the tunnel. Thames Tunnel was perhaps the most unique, but by far not the only instance of grand civic infrastructure from the early 19th century that Fisher visited. Hammersmith Bridge, right behind me, is perhaps a more typical example for the age of cast iron and steel. In 1827, upon reading in the newspaper of the bridge's opening to the public, Fisher, who happened to be in London with his son, decided to come and visit the bridge to see and inspect it with his own eyes. And lastly, we have this, a completely new form of 19th century infrastructure that transformed the way that our cities look and the life of its inhabitants. London was one of the first cities with broadly applied gas lighting. It was introduced at Pall Mall in 1809. On his first visit to London, Johann Conrad Fischer went to see this new invention. It was this massive demand for gas lighting infrastructure that contributed to the market for the first iconic GF product, malleable cast iron fittings. Thanks for watching and many thanks for the Brunel Museum for letting us film there. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow.